Welcome back to Edge Hill, and I'm picking up the action on turn 4 just after the Royalist Central Wing have moved. The reason I'm picking it up now is because there's some key action happening. So what we expected was Belay's, his unit's down here now, it was up there. He advanced onto Colonel Essex's army, which was at the top here, the 2,000 men. The cavalry up here, they tried to intercept, but they couldn't intercept. They failed that check. And Colonel Essex, he had um, poor morale, and he actually failed the salvo check. So he failed a uh, he failed a morale check. He went down to morale shaken, and that was just as really a sign of the poor morale that the parliamentarians have. Um, if they get fired on by salvo and take a few hits, uh, their morale was uh, weakening, which makes it even worse for them going forwards. In the in the centre, the leader of the army, he didn't want to risk moving coming forward here. Because if he moved forward, he had been fired on salvo by all of these men down here. And also potentially salvo fire out the side here. So he could well have been moved off the field. He was already on four hundred damage there. He opted to fire skirmish up here. As you can see there's a few salvo markers on there. Um, but he missed. Um, but even though he missed killing troops, the salvo was enough to cause a morale check here, which was failed. So the morale is now shaken in this unit here, which is the uh, Ballard unit there. Here we've got some cannon fire action. This unit was moving forward. Even at the range of one, they failed to hit the cannon. The, the cannon just missed. They rolled. Um, they didn't roll enough to actually make a hit. Another interesting action here. Look at this unit here that's now routing. What happened was this unit was here. He advanced onto Essex's, and Essex just fired one pistol shot back into Wentworth. It caused one damage. The damage went up to five there. That was enough to permanently morale shake that unit, it had to take a morale check and the morale check failed which was immediate morale broken, it went back to, it's now moved back four in the routing phase. Byron, where's Byron? Byron's down here, because of that instant over there he had to move out of command, so he's now out of command, he's got to move back into command next turn, he just had to clear a path now the charge orders allow him to move closer to the enemy and when he started his turn he was in command so that's how he managed to pull that off uh, but next turn he's going to have to move back in command so in close combat as we've said Belays here he was actually very successful against Colonel Essex he rolled in an 8 and when the modifiers were applied he destroyed completely uh, Colonel Essex so it looks good for him. But as he moved forward, he came under fire from these musketeers. That cavalry there. Ballard, he fired out. So they come under three different attacks there. And in that attack, 300 damage was caused to permanently shake the morale of that unit. They then completed a morale check and they rolled at eight. They completely failed their morale check. They were morale broken as well. Now, what happened, the commander then attempted to do a continuation. The idea of the continuation would have been to change orders. He wanted to go into a rally order, so he could start trying to uh, get these troops back in order. He, so he failed that check, so he's now on the finish side. So it's starting to fall apart here, either side really. I mean, you know, Colonel Essex's men, there's 2,000 gone up there. These units are all heavily hit there. They're running off the field now. It's not completely lost cause for these units because we have King Charles down here. King Charles could have come across this turn to try and start, uh, try and start did an automatic uh, rally the next turn. The reason why he didn't was because this cavalry up here is still within charging distance of that unit. So I think the next turn that these move back King Charles is going to be in there as long as these cavalry don't move forward too much. 
uh, to actually intercept. But King Charles is not going to put his life in danger in this game at all. If King Charles is dead, it's, it's a lost cause for the, uh, the Royalists. So, big action here. Big action. And the next one to move will be one of the uh, cavalry units. I suspect after this uh, debacle, Prince Rupert now, can he take advantage up here? He was waiting for that, that area to clear. Now he needs to take advantage. So Prince Rupert will be the next to move in this game. I'll pick up you when the action's good or we get to the next turn. 